Um, she wants to know, this zakat of fitr, first of all, you can explain to us what it is, but um, does it have to be paid by somebody who has that money, or does it have to be paid by everybody, even if they don't have work, don't have the money? In the hadith of Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, Ibn Abbas, and Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, instructed his followers to give out on the night of Eid, which is the last day of Ramadan, you should give out one sa' of food to the poor. And this sa' is an equivalent of 2.2 kilograms of dates. So you can give uh, the equivalent of this weight of dates, of wheat, of uh, 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 whatever rice, food that people usually consume. And the Prophet stated that this should be on every individual. So if it's a male, a female, a slave, a free person, a grown-up, a child, we should give out a sa on each one of them. And this is to be given to the poor so that they would not go and ask for food <laughs> on that particular day, which is Eid. Now, having said that, scholars did not say that if a person has no income or does not uh, uh, work, he should not give out zakah. On the contrary, they said that any person who has what is enough to feed him on that day, whatever surplus he has, he has to give if he can find it. So if, for example, if I have enough, uh, uh, two point, if I have five kilograms of rice in my house, Let's assume that 2.5 is enough for myself. The, the surplus, which is 2.5, I should give it out and give it as a zakah. Some would say, but you're already poor. Yeah. You have only this amount. Well, the others will give me <laughs> in exchange, and I'll have much, much more. But this, as a ritual, I have to pay myself to the poor.